Well, hi everybody and welcome to today's video. Today it's all about doing those chores that's been on your list a long time. Let me share with you what I'm working on today. Wow, I think we're getting a few snowflakes. I have some work to do outside. I go inside and we're going to be canning up some elderberry juice and some cherry juice. And that is, we're gonna make it into jelly. But first, let me go ahead and clean up because I have a real mess out here. My life consists of many things. It consists of jars, cleaning up, canning, cooking, and some homestead chores mixed in. I'm always using jars and putting jars away. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do some laundry. Now, I did do some canning earlier yesterday and I have all of these soaking in here in this. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on that. And I have to work on some wood and get that all stacked as well. There's always so much that has to be done. And this thing is absolutely amazing. Hey, we are going to be making elderberry jelly. Now this is something that has been on my list for a long, long time, ever since I think November. And I just have been so extremely busy, I didn't have time to make it. So we're gonna work on some projects today that I've been talking about for a long time and just didn't have the time to do it. So this is the elderberry and it was frozen. And I've always wanted to make elderberry jelly and jam because elderberry has a lot of properties in it that are really good for you. It can help you with your cold. It has a lot of vitamin C in it. So we are going to make that. While I'm doing all of this work, I'm finally going to make the cherry jelly. Now this is cherry juice that I bought at the discount grocery store. Oh, I bet about four months ago. And we're gonna go ahead and make that. This is gonna be really easy because it's already juice. This is gonna be a little more labor intensive. So the first thing we need to do is take all of these elderberries, put it with about a cup to a cup and a half of water, and we're going to boil it till all the elderberries are soft. And then I'll show you what we do next. All right, I keep saying jam and jelly. There's two separate things. We are making jelly. We're making cherry jelly and we're making elderberry jelly. Jam is when you use the fruit. Jelly is when you use all of the juices. It's the same recipe for the elderberry, which is nice. I need four cups of this cherry juice. Now this is unsweetened. So if you wanna make jelly with your juice, make sure it's unsweetened. You can't have sweetened juice and make jelly with it because you have to add the sweetener with the pectin. Oh, tongue twister. All right, so let's see if we can get four cups in here. When life is so perfect, this is exactly four cups. So that is exactly what I needed. Four cups of the cherry juice. I'm gonna go ahead and we're going to turn the elderberries into juice and then we will work on this. All right, so this is the cherry juice and we're just gonna add three tablespoons of lemon juice to it. Now we're gonna go ahead and boil this and add seven cups of sugar and then one and a half boxes of pectin.
Now, the elderberry, I used the vanilla sugar, and let me tell you, that is amazing. I will be making vanilla sugar from now on for my jams and jellies. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. Jars, these are store-bought jars. I think most people who watch my videos know all about my love of these jars. Originally, they had jams and jellies in them, and my subscribers are saving them for me, which is really nice because you can't buy them new. I reuse these lids about three to four times. These lids are so much stronger than anything that you can buy. So I like to reuse store-bought jars. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and boil these lids for about one minute, and then I'm gonna wipe off the rims and I'm gonna can everything up. Alright, so we are done with the jelly and now I'm going to go ahead and wash the rags that the jelly was in. So these are the tea towels that got some jelly on them. So many times working like this, it's so much easier than doing it in the house. It's just the way I live. While they're not going to dry while they're not going to dry today, they will be dried by tomorrow. And if it rains, it really doesn't matter to me because these are just rags and tea towels in the kitchen. It's not like it's our clothing. All right, with the water that's left, we're gonna go ahead over at my other kitchen sink out here, and we are going to soak the bag that the elderberries were in. The chickens love the elderberries, so let's go give them to the chickens, and then we're gonna soak the bag that it came in. I'm hoping to get it really good and white again. Probably not because it stains so much. Let's see, do they like it? They're not sure about it, are they? They'll eat it in a matter of a couple minutes once they figure out what it is. They never had elderberries before, so they're a little bit not sure, but trust me, they'll eat them. All right, we're out in my outdoor kitchen area. We're gonna put the bag in there, and I am gonna add Two tablets of chlorine, only because I want to get these good and clean. I really don't use chlorine very much, but once in a while I do like to have it on hand. The is really nice. It's easy to move it about. Well, diary, I am so glad I got everything on my list done. It was weighing on my mind for months now, the things that I wanted to do. With the holidays, it just seemed like I didn't have any time. Finally, now I'm getting it all done, and it feels so good. 
the older I get, it seems like the harder it is to achieve all of these goals that I have in my mind. But if I take it one day at a time, it seems like at the end of the week, it will get done. I cannot wait to show my subscribers what I'm working on tomorrow because all of the things that I'm doing are things that they can do too. And it's so much fun and a great joy and satisfaction on a job that's well done. I really have a new lease on life. I'm really excited. My energy is just flowing out of me as I think of new things to do, to show with people, to have a peaceful, slow pace of living. It's a lot of hard work, as you can see, but somehow it's making me stronger, making me wiser, and making me more full of joy. Hey, don't click off my videos yet. Have you seen this one and this one? Take a look at them. I think you'll enjoy them as well.